blah, 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 whatever it may be, I am constantly putting out affirmations. Affirmations are a sense of telling not only yourself, but the universe as well, which literally acts according to your thoughts and your actions and your words. I'm telling the universe and myself what to do next, where to end up at, how to get there. One of the ways of getting there is by doing these affirmations. I have been doing something within the last two weeks that has been extremely powerful for me. <clears throat> what I've been doing the last two weeks has been telling myself that my brain controls the body. If I feel a pain here, I notice the pain is here, step one. Two, I feel the pain. Three, I run it up to my brain. And this is all subconscious. It gets ran up to my brain and it tells my brain that this part of my arm is in pain. So, if that can happen, why not the opposite? And this takes practice. This is not something that's gonna happen in a day, a week, a month, a year, two years, three years. It's just something that's gonna take continual, lifelong practice. But where you start does not matter. So why not reverse that thought process and tell your arm to stop hurting? Hey, you know what, brain, brain, tap in, tap in, brother. Is the arm really in pain? Question it. Is the arm really hurting? By taking the focus off of the recipient, right, as the brain, and you make the brain the sender, the controller, you switch your entire dynamic around. Working out. Been working out diligently at least four times a week at the physical gym, every single day, just about though. Every single day I'm working out, doing squats, push-ups, planks, whatever it may be. But during those workout times, if I feel like I can't, absolutely cannot do it, my body is telling my brain, look, this is too painful, you're, you're trembling, you're getting stressed out, my blood is pumping, your heart's racing. Can I or can I not? Have my brain re-signal back to those, those, those thoughts and those feelings coming from the body and say, you're not done yet, body. The brain still has activity to be flowed through the body and you're gonna do and act accordingly. My brain is telling my body what to do now. Instead of an ailment or a physical pain telling my brain how to feel. That doesn't mean that I am literally, I can't feel pain. No, this means that I am able to at least notice that my brain is the thing that's receiving the pain from the neurons shooting up into it. So why can't the brain literally shoot neurons back to the, to the arm or to wherever the pain is and say, this is not happening. You are fine. You're going to push through this and you're gonna make it. This is how athletes of all great sorts make it to be the number freaking one best absolute in the world. Michael freaking Jordan, best basketball player out there. Do you think that when his body told him, I am exhausted, that he listened to his body? Do you think that he listened to his body? I don't. I think he told his body, we're not done yet. I am, going, I am the greatest player in the freaking world. I'm not done yet. You can't be done, body. The brain controls the body. The mind controls the body, not the other way around. Many times we allow our bodies to go off and just flail around and do what it does and be who it is. When in reality, that causes a separation between, wow, my body's hurting, I can't control it, versus, my body's hurting. I know it's hurting. My brain is in control. My brain is the one rec receiving the neurons. So why don't we shoot those neurons right back into the pain or whatever is happening and tell it to stop. Tell it, no, you're not done working out yet. No, you have not exhausted every bit of me because I'm still here. I'm still awake. I'm still in control. I'm sorry for going on so long. 
I take that sorry back, actually, because I know that there's something gained out of this. So I'll take that sorry back. I'm happy that you listened all the way until the end of this, because I know that you have been affected in one way or another positively out of this. So I appreciate you listening and I will see y'all soon.